Can we clap our hands for the Lord to show that we are appreciating him for everything that he's doing in our lives? Hallelujah. Let me greet you all in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Can I greet you again in Jesus' mighty name? Can you tell the person that is close to you, welcome to the house of the Lord in Jesus' name. I welcome you in the presence of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Are you happy to be here today? Let us raise our hands, we worship, and then we go and listen to the word of the Lord. Uinkosia makosi ungumtali wa lumshaba zonke si zwezi babaza ukulu bako uinkosia makosi. Ungum tali wa lumshaba zoke si zwezi babaza wena uinko si uinko si ya makosi ungum tali wa. Zoke si zwe si baba za ubuku ulu bako e wiko si amakosi ugum taliwa lumshaba. Si zwezi baba zasa wena. Can you please give the mic to Prophet Emmanuel? Uinko si amako si. Uinko si amako. Uinko si amako si. Umtali wa umtali wa lomshaba. Si baba za ubuku ubuku lubako wena wiko si amako si ungunta liwa lukshaba so ke si zwe zwe si. Oh, 
Father, thank you. Holy Spirit, thank you. Jehovah, we thank you. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your love. Father, help us today. Father, walk with us today. Lead us today. Direct us today. Lord, I pray in the name that is above every name, the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, thank you for filling us with your presence. Thank you for speaking with us. Thank you for directing us and thank you for leading us in Jesus' precious name. What a God we save. What a God we worship. We can all sit down in the presence of the Lord. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Let me greet you all in Jesus' mighty name. 
Can you greet the person that is close to you? Welcome to the house of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Thank you very much for the time that you have given yourself to come into the house of the Lord to worship and to bless him and to adore his name and to speak with him so that he can be able to direct you and take you where you are supposed to go. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Are we all happy to be here? If you are happy, can you show me your excitement to show me that really you are happy to be in the house of the Lord? Hallelujah. Let us go into the Bible. Let us go into the word of God. Let us open the book of John. John chapter 14. I won't read too much of verses today. I just want to speak with you. And... and we, we go home. John, I believe I said John chapter 14. Am I right? <clears throat> John chapter 14, we read verse 16. John chapter 14, we read verse 16. Are you there? Are you coming more like 12? 12, I'm just reading it for reference. I want us to hear the message so that we can be able to flow with it. Okay. Verse 12 says, Most assuredly I say to you, he who believes in me the works that I do, he will do also. And greater works than these he will do because I go to my Father. And whatever you ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. 14. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. 15. If you love me, keep my commandments. And I will pray the Father, and he will give you another helper, that he may abide with you forever. The spirit of truth, 17, whom the world cannot receive, because it neither sees him nor knows him, but you know him, for he dwells with you and will be in you. I will not leave you offense. I will come to you. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for your word. In the name of Jesus, I reveal it unto us and bless us through it. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. I said to you as I was beginning, I'm not going to read much, but I want us to listen to what the word of God is saying. Before I tell you what I entitled the message to be today, I want you to listen to the words that Jesus has spoken. From verse 12, he say, I say to you, who, he who believes in me, the works that I do, that person will do. And greater works, the person will also do. Why? Because I am going to the Father. And he said again, if you do my commandments, if we do his commandments, he himself is the one who is going to pray to the Father that the Father gives us another helper. This helper will be the one to help us along the way in whatever we will be doing. And this helper will never be your helper if you are not following the commandments. Hallelujah. So I have entitled the message of today 
my helper. Mutushi wak, my helper, your helper. You can write there where you are writing in a notebook, who is your helper? Kimang mutushi wahao. Where we have read today, the Bible is speaking about Jesus when he was talking to his disciples as he was about to leave them and go to heaven. Jesus was about to leave them and go to heaven. So now, because of the words that he was always saying unto them to encourage them, to tell them that whatever he is doing, they are going to do. Because now these people were his disciples. He wanted them to have full understanding of what is it they are going to do or the revelation of what they are going to do. Hallelujah. Now the Bible says, Jesus said unto the disciples, I am going to the Father. I am leaving you. And when I leave you, greater works you are going to do. And the works that you are going to do are going to be even greater than the ones I have done. Why are the works supposed to be greater? Why? Because I am going to the Father. In other words, when we pray now, in Jesus' name, everything happens in double. Why? Because Jesus is with the Father. Are you hearing me? Jesus went to heaven as now, and now he is with the Father in heaven. And now he went on and say, then if you do my commandments, I want you to separate these two things. Jesus said, Greater works you will do, and more than what I have done you will do, because I go to the Father. Again? And then he went on and says, then now, if you do my commandments, I don't know if you are hearing what I'm trying to tell you. Greater works you will do. That's why we want to learn how to do it. Am I right? Okay. Verse 24. When you go to your workplace, when you reach there, somebody is not feeling good. You have that faith. You believe in your heart. You lay your hand on that person. That person gets healed in Jesus' name. Jesus is with the Father. And now he went on and said, But if you do my commandments... If you do what? My commandments. I will pray to the Father. That the Father gives you. In other words. Again? So the Bible says. If you do my commandments. I. Jesus. Will pray to the father and say, Father, can you please give her a helper? Why? Because she is doing my commandments. Now, Jesus went on and said, Now, as you are doing those, doing my commandments, in other words, walking according to the way of the father, there is something that Jesus has spoken. When he was about to die, he said, Father, not my will, but thy will be done. Now, we are Christians in this age that we are living in. We have to reach a place where we are able to say, Father, not what I want, but what you want. Not what I want to do, but what you want me to do. Not according to my understanding and knowledge, but according to your understanding and your knowledge, Lord. That's where we will see ourselves prospering or uh, moving forward or going according to the way of the Lord. When you haven't reached that place, that arena of saying to the Father, not my will, but your will. 
I want to do your commandments. It is very much possible that a helper will not come to you because Jesus didn't pray that the helper has come to you. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? Just yes, so Jesus, when he left, he said to the apostles, go and wait for the promise. And they went away and went and stayed where he told them to stay together, waiting for the promise. And when he was in heaven, he said, Father, they are doing what I commanded them. Then send the helper to them. And the helper came. Are you hearing me? Now, in this Christianity of ours, I call it Christianity of ours, so that we can understand. We think Christianity is the way we think. No, no. It's the way God thinks. If God says you must stand, we stand. Sit, we sit. Go, we go. Don't go, I don't go. Why? Because it is not my command, but his command. Now, the Bible says if we follow his commandment, he will pray to the Father. In other words, each and every day, Jesus is praying for us, saying, Father, help Malihod. Father, help Eunice. Why? Because he wanted the helper to be always with me. And the Bible went on and said, this spirit of truth, the helper, will never go to the people of the world because the people of the world, they don't know him and they don't understand him. In other words, the spirit will never go to people who are outside. It always comes to people who are inside. Now, as children of God, we need a helper. You can never make it in Christianity if the helper is not with you. Things are very much difficult along the way, but you need somebody to be beside you. The Bible says Jesus is in heaven and Jesus prays for us that the Father gives us a helper. In other words, those things that Jesus said, you will even do more, greater than what he has done. Most of us here, I'm not challenging your faith, understand me. Most of us here, we are only able to do those things just Jesus did. Can we learn it? Huh? Jesus prayed for the sick, yes, he prayed for them, they got healed. But we cannot change a few food to be much because we don't have a helper. I'll explain why I say so. The day Jesus changed little food, bread and fish, to feed the multiple, the multitude, he said, Father, so that these people must or will know that you have sent me so that what these people will know you are always walking with me you are always beside me you are always doing things with me he prayed for the food and the food multiplied and everyone was fed why? because the helper was there to help him multiply are you hearing me? So now in our Christianity, we need a helper. And the only helper that has been written is not Muruti, it's not Mamruti area for advices, but there is a helper that is above everything, the Holy Spirit. He is the one to help you in every step of the that you take of the way in your life. Everything that you want to do, you go to him, you speak with him, help me Holy Spirit, because I'm failing in one, two, three. And the Holy Spirit comes and helps you. But rather, you have to understand first, you must do the commandments. Hallelujah. Can you tell the person that is close to you, you must do the commandments. 
The spirit of the Lord, the spirit of truth, does not stay in a place where commandments are not there. When we are children of God, following God, there are commandments we have to follow. Are you doing them? Can you ask the person that is close to you, are you doing them? I mean the commandments. When I was still growing in Christianity, the pastor that we were still under, they are Christians who are crooks. And after that, he will explain and say, when we come to lifting hands, they raise hands very high. And if you are tall, you are very lucky. Your hands are above everybody's hands. When we come to worshiping in the church, hey, the voices are so loud, they are on top there. When we come to praying in the eyes of people, before people, you scream and shout and even speak things that are not supposed to be spoken. Why? Because you want people to, what, to hear what you are saying or see what you are doing. But when we come to doing God's commandments, it is difficult. And now it becomes also difficult for Jesus to order or speak to the Father so that the Spirit can come and help us. We need a helper. Hallelujah. Can you tell the person that is close to you, you need a helper. Can you go just close next day, John chapter 15 verse 26. Did you get it? Can you tell the person that is close to you, you need a helper. You need the spirit of truth. If the spirit of truth is in you, you will be able to live according to the truth. If you are doing the commandments of the Lord, it will never be difficult for you to follow what the Lord is saying or what the Bible is saying. But if the helper is not there, it becomes so, so difficult for you to be able to do what you are supposed to do. Let us read chapter, verse 26. But when the helper comes, whom I shall send to you from the Father, the Spirit of truth, who proceeds from the Father, he will testify of me. And you also will bear witness because you have been with me from the beginning. When the helper is in you, he testifies the good works that Jesus has done in the lives of people. And when you begin to understand and to see and to know what Jesus is doing in the lives of people, the Bible says you also are going to start testifying. When the helper is in you, he testifies. This is what happens. When you have the spirit of truth in you, who is called the helper, Whatever you want to do, you want to do it to please the one who is in you. I get it? So now, when Jesus is in you, the Holy Spirit is in you. You make sure that whatever you do, you please the one who is in you. The Bible says, greater is he that is in us than he that is unto this world. But when this helper is in you, he testifies. That is why you will see, when you are growing in spirit, growing in the truth of the word of God, you start to even change the way you do things. You just feel this is not right, I don't have to do it. And you leave it yourself. 
Even though you've been born again three months ago, there are some things when you look at them, mm -mm, I cannot do this one anymore. Why? Because there is a helper, there is a spirit of truth that is in you testifying of the works of Jesus. Speaking to your inner man about what Jesus does in the life of a person. When Jesus enters a life of a person, the life of that person must change. One day I say in the church here, Christianity is not a religion. It's a lifestyle. When you become a Christian, you don't do things the way people do them. You do things the way the kingdom does them. You don't do things to be, you know, respected by men. You do things to be accepted by the kingdom. Or accepted in the kingdom. There are so many that we have in the house of the Lord that are making the number to be so great. But all of them, they are empty. The helper is not there. And he will ask me, how do you see it, Mama? We see by the works. Because if the helper is in you, it testifies. It tells you, wake up and pray, you pray. Read the Bible, you read. Don't go this way, go this way, you did, do it. Do the commandments, you do it. There will be nothing in the house of the Lord that you would not fight to do. Why? Because the helper is in you. Why do we fail in our Christian life? The helper is not there. That is why it becomes so easy for Christians to fall back into sin. And when you ask them, I didn't hear myself. You know, I don't understand what I'm doing. How can you answer such kind of an answer when you know that there is somebody who is in you? When Jesus is inside of you, Everything that is in you must change. The way you talk, the way you scream, the way you shout, the way you walk, the way you dress up, the way you hold yourself. The spirit of in you will teach you how to do these things. He will lead you. He will walk before you. He will tell you how to walk. Has it happened to you one day when you wake up, you just feel... No, I don't know if to go away. I wanted to go. I will stay at home. And when you have stayed at home, after some time you heard, where, 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 this and this and this happened. And you say, oh God, thank you. You saved me. I was supposed to be amongst those that met the incident or the accident. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you now ask the person that is, do you have the helper? And be fair, be fair with yourself. You cannot have the helper if you don't do the commandments. Now how will the Holy Spirit help those kind of people? Because the seed that is planted into your spirit must found that the ground in you is fertile, is good for the seed to be able to germinate. Now the ground can never be good if the commandments of the Lord are not there in you. The ground will be good so that seeds will germinate. That is why you will find people 20 years Because eh? Just check yourself. Check yourself what is happening with your life and look and search if there is something that is unworthy for the Spirit of the Lord to stay in you. Because the Holy Spirit does not stay in a dirty place. The Holy Spirit does not stay in grounds or grounds that are not fertile or manured. How do we manure or put manure in the ground? We listen to the word of God. You read your Bible at home. The Spirit of the Lord, this helper, will help you to understand what is written. 
We don't read the Bible because we are coming to preach, we pastors. We read the Bible because the Bible, the Bible says, the word in the Bible, the commandment says, we must read the word. The word of the Lord must stay in us. So the word cannot stay in us if we don't study it. Am I right? When we were yet at school, you'll find people cross-nighting, reading books, and writing their notes, doing whatever and whatever and whatever. So that at the end of the year, they will be able to pass the exams. Isn't it? Now, when we come to be Christians, this is exactly what we have to do as children of God. Sit down, take your Bible, study the word, not for the sake. Eish. Not for the sake of writing the, the verse in the Facebook. Uh -uh. For the sake of your own spirit. Hi. We are tired of people preaching. We are already saved. We are trying to do the word. Every day we are being taught our Facebook verse. Now we are trying You take the word, you sit down, you read the word of God, and that same word that you have read works in your own spirit. Change your, you yourself inside. Not you go and tell the word to others so that you change and when we're now sabucha or salitala. When we, we preachers, we come to preach, we preach that you must change, but in our salita, Allah, we are still not ripe. We are still empty. But I'm expecting you to live a... How can you live a holy life? I believe it's yesterday, if not Monday. I was with this, my children, so I was telling them. The reason of me Standing there every Sunday is one. But until God says, sit down, then I will sit. I said to them, let me tell you. When you see me standing there, sometimes when you wake up, the body is not allowing. The body is tired. But you tell yourself, but for the work that God has given me right now, let me honor it. I will go and stand. I said, immediately you stand there. The spirit that is in me, you must listen to me clearly. The spirit that is in me will be shared to you all. Eh? That is why you will see when there is a worship team, worship team, 